Motorcycling has been my way of life for nearly 30 years. Growing up on the outskirts of a city has environmentally forged me into a dirt bike rider. Exploring unknown terrain on two wheels can be both treacherous and fascinating. Perhaps the reason so many people are discovering what it is to ride an adventure bike. Big machines with twin cylinder, huge horsepower engines built to cover big distances, fast. But the most fascinating part for me is how far you can push them through rugged terrain. KTM is one manufacturer that is meeting the demand of riders, equipping these machines to take a serious off-road beating. Would you prefer that I hang shit on you for riding a 690, Jeff? No. What's the meaning of this? Personally, what have you gone and done? I think you have sabotaged my bike. <laughs> I think you have swapped it. Some riders, though, are still content to ride the smaller, single-cylinder machine. Regardless of your weapon of choice, we are all here in the true spirit of adventure. There's riders from all over Australia, some from around the world, and now more than ever, I'm seeing an increasing number of former motocross and enduro legends coming out to play. How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm so excited that the Queenslanders are back. We're here. You're not even banned, Paulie. I know. How Four, does that work? Rally work? Four rallies in and you haven't even been banned. It just won't quit, will it, Jeff? No, it will not quit. Soul 990, it just, just won't just quit. Going. Did you ride across Australia to get here? No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you take a shortcut? You flew in, didn't you? With medic and support staff on hand, the 2019 KTM Australia Adventure Rally is just about ready to go. We're just waiting for Rosie. Formalities aside, KDM Australia welcome back Daniel Milner, who is giving us some insight into how he finally won the recent international six-day enduro. So, uh, yeah, just went up there and decided to tell him and just let him know he was quicker and get out of the way, buddy. It's, uh, it's my time to go. Look at them, they just are so stoked. It's the biggest event of their career. Mate. What's the green arrow all about? Point? When you're this cold, a quick stop to warm the hands and get your bearings is a good move before heading into the flogging rain. Fucking cold, eh? I'm buddied up with Milner in Bluetooth comms, which makes for a few good laughs on the fly. Unbelievable. Best country in the world. A bit slippery. <laughs> you reckon fuel leaked on his back tyre and iced the back tyre up? Bloke on the beach, mate. Yeah. 
this guy even a leaker? The lads seem hesitant to assist. I'll let you know how this pans out later. Brings you to Tasmania, mate. Right on the back uh, a couple of times. Couldn't, couldn't help but come and watch the rest of the KDM guys ride. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shaking for? Because I'm fucking cold. <laughs> I haven't thought it out yet. On the big rig, mate. Great too. How'd you go in that slick shit? Cautiously. You look clean. You obviously kept it up, right? the most expensive ferry of all time. We're literally crossing a creek for 10 bucks. Yeah. There's a bridge two k's <laughs> up the road. Is there? There's a bridge in McDonald's I have. Cheaper option. Shit, mate, she'll get up. <laughs> it's that easy, my friend. Hey? <laughs> eh? Someone's got to give you footage. Pretty cool views. 
After that Lake Burberry, though, the bitumen is a little bit... Yeah, that's right. I'd almost forgotten, but it seems word got out about our little fuel mishap today. But the funny story of the day that I thought deserves the award, I think is best told by Mr. Adam Greenman. Now, I know he's filming right now, and he's not going to be very happy with this, but we don't ever really get Adam up, so we're going to swap the camera and come on up, Adam. The three guys from Toowoomba who saved our KTM brand ambassador from running out of fuel. He gets off the boat, fills it up, and comes to Cradle Mountain. And that was the last time he fueled it. <laughs> we're a hundred k's into the loop, and he's like, mate, mine's flashing. What do you mean? There's a red bar flashing. And it started clogging with rain, it got dark, and, you know, we were far from any civilization. I thought there's only one thing to do. We pretty much just have to rob some fuel from other riders. And the, uh, the Toowoomba lads, they had a jerry can, a jiggler, and the biggest safari tank I've ever seen. <laughs> Is that about what happened? Yeah, that's exactly right. Pulled up beside us. Um, you guys got any fuel? I look down the big tank, it's 50 litres. No, mate. <laughs> Sorry, nothing here. And then the other big fella said, oh, come on, mate, now are you here? I said, no, I've never heard of him. <laughs> Passing through Queenstown, host of an old copper mine that all but decimated the landscape here. and uh, where are we? What is this place? Well, it would, it would it be bad manners to dip my thighs and fingers into it? No. <laughs> I'm ready to hang on to it. It would be a good way to combat the frostbite, wouldn't it? Yeah. Pretty cold out there. Cold How are you cold. going, Gav? Really good, yeah. yeah. I mean, apart from the three degrees and the pouring rain, it's mm. been very... It's been good. Yeah. Quite exciting. Music's good. good. Stuff. Music's going good. Yeah. What's happening, what's happening here? This looks quite We're advanced. Doing, We're just doing a bit of a transfer. Wireless transfer complete. Are you a regular at these rallies or what? Well, no. No? No, this is my first one, but I think we can say I'll be a regular. Yeah. Proto regular, you like that? You're sort of hooked now. What have you got? 690. Yeah, once upon a time now, a yeah. yeah. rally kitted. Looks fairly capable. Are you any good at riding? No, I'm shit, but the bike's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, absolutely. What's what? What's your secret? You got some undergloves there? Yeah, some undergloves, some rubber gloves. But you got... still not cut that small. No, it still gets through, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty cold out there. Bit of rain, 100k an hour. Yeah. It's freezing. <laughs> This is the greasiest track, and Milner's just cruising through on the big 1290.
green arrow here somewhere, our first real breakout loop is coming. Oh yeah, we met a local enduro rider a bit further back and he seemed pretty pumped to have met us in his backyard. You too. Take it easy. Thanks for showing us the way. No Cheers, dude. While it's good to be checking into a hotel after a big day, it seems I have some explaining to do. What's the situation? The situation with your precious baby yeah. is it's been wearing bullets from Daniel Warner all day. Cabby? We have a broken hand guard. Really um, I do. I'm capturing uh, up close and personal the whole day, but in the moments where you need someone capable of riding with you, you find a, one of the few. What did you do? Nothing. His 1290 is throwing bricks like that. Oh. You should have put him oh. on a 690. I should have. Heavy, will it be okay? There's a mirror. Oh. Indicator. Geez, we could get up to all sorts tonight, mate. Oh, even money, you reckon? <laughs> I have to stand up here in front of all of you like a school teacher. This is a bad idea. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a great day today. It was so awesome seeing you all come in with massive smiles on your faces. Quick coffee and pit stop at a local KDM dealership before we hit the road.
have a situation. <laughs> Do we? Are you taking care of your machine? What's happening here? My machine has a little fork seal machine. Yeah? It needs adjustment. We're going to adjust it. You've been having a fair crack out there or We've what? We've had a good crack today. Yeah? Been awesome. Been a good look in there as well. What's in there? What is this joint? This joint is a uh, power station. Between the tie levers bolted to your frame and the lollies, you're a hardcore adventure rider. We've got the ideal setup. <laughs> you do. Well, look what we have here. Team single cylinder. What do you have to say for yourself, Bolton? <laughs> We're just on the cheetah bikes this trip. <laughs> Little pea shooters. Mmm, cheetah bikes. I don't think you're going to live that down for a while. We'll be hearing about it for a fair while, I think. Yeah, I think to redeem yourself, all you can do is step up to a super adventure on the next rally. Do I have to run one of those bubble helmets? You do, with, <laughs> with Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. Up. It's all right, mate. We'll be just fine. Not even three k's into the breakout, it seems I have a problem. You got your bum bag, don't you? I'm pretty sure I'll burst in the front. It's all about survival out here. Pagey, you gotta think quick, fast decisions, and you know what I thought? Pagey's in front, he's got the tubes. Milner's behind me, he's got the uh, skills. Perfect. I'm gonna get me front tire fixed. Well played. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, already on the job like the fucking world champion he is. Far out, calipers off, eh, Daniel? Yeah, shit's getting real. Look at this war horse. What's the boys got for us? By now you've probably heard my number one question. What's the situation? Well, right now, as you can see organically, these riders want to know exactly what this situation is. Thomas Bechant, did I get that right? Yeah, you got it right. How old are you, mate? 28. 28? Yeah. Oh, geez, you're doing all right to be able to afford one of these. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. That's a good uh, philosophy, my friend. I feel a bit better about myself that someone else has got a flat, not just me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you pinch the tube, Daniel, is the question. Don't you worry about me, mate. Papa, day three, tell us how it's been. Excellent, well here we are, the 2019 KDM Tasmania Adventure Rally. Total contrast to last year with the dry heat wave conditions in the outback. This week we've had sleet, ice, ice warnings on our bike, hell, torrential rain and a beautiful sunny day today taking us into Swansea. Mountainous terrains with watermelon sized boulders up and down handles swallowing bog holes in, oh, but an open farm road, it's just awesome. The day was just a combination of everything. Uh, How is that? Sorry, I'm sack. <laughs> um, what, what we don't get, or what one person doesn't really get, is how much Rosie Lalonde really puts in. I think it's over and above that what any human being could possibly do on these rides. So I'm gonna actually serenade her. <laughs> so bear with me because when I first met her, I said, How are you going? I said, What's your name? She said, Rosie. I said, Cracklin. <laughs> she said, Who's Cracklin? I said, no, Neil Dom, Cracklin Rosie. <laughs> so it goes something like this. So open laughter's here. Don't we? Is that ready? Cracklin Rosie, let's get aboard. We're gonna ride all day till there ain't no more to go. We can't go slow, it's a 1090, you know. We'll unleash the horses of that Austrian baby, exploring new terrain. Late night stories feeling dusty, these trails are insane. We need some rain. Worlds away from work problems now. Oh, we love our rosy child. She's got the way to make us happy. Motos will always be in style. Crackling Rosie, you're a Kato woman. I won't button off, cause I hear you coming. Hold on, girl, cause the road keeps rolling. Oh, slay it now, slay it now, slay it now, my baby. Crackling Rosie, let's make a mile. Well, if we have breakdowns, well, that's all right. Your sweeps have all nights. <laughs> How do you deal with those dumbass questions? Oh, we love our Rosie child. She's got the way to make us happy. Motos will always be in style. Thank you. <laughs> Killer performance sack. And in the still of the AM, a secret team are preparing a surprise mission for the riders today. The first public Australian reveal of the 790 Adventure R.
Strangely enough, it seems I'm caught up in a video sandwich. As he takes footage of real life adventure riders crashing, burning, and splashing. <laughs> it's fantastic. Let's see if we can get him now. <laughs> ah, the drama of it all is too much for some. Good night last night, eh? Was it? Have we gone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kept going till uh, I wasn't last man standing by any means, but um, a few lads were into it. It was funny. Yeah, those little talks. So what have we got happening here, Kurt? You've popped the front. I'm in the front out trying to keep up with him again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that old story again. Oh, it's bad news. <laughs> There's some belter rocks in there, but it's inevitable, you know. I got a flat yesterday. Your rims aren't looking very round anymore, Kurt. No, um, this is true. finally revealed. Social media is running hot, group photo initiated, but sorry, no test rides today. It was a good day. It was a good rally day. We've done this before, haven't we? How many rallies are you up to now? Three. Three? I'll 
said to Rose the day, I want to be the oldest boy to finish all of them. Yes. What year is this old war horse? An 02. An 02. An 02 640. Yep. Yep. You look slightly concerned there, Mark Daniels. No, Adam. I've got a great technician here helping me out. If Kyle can't fix it, <laughs> it can't be fixed. <laughs> Sunday storm in Cradle Mountain in the ignition. Ah, oh, yeah, you got yeah, it full of water. So it's cutting out. Mate, she's getting on now, Erzberg edition. You've got to look after the. You got to look after these old girls. Actually, it's in pretty good nick. Pop the seat off Pop and, the seat out. and you're, in. you're in. Dunskies. I pulled over on the side of the road, like checked my pants, and I was like, Steve, did you see me get myself? He goes, Yeah, just about. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Oh, but it was awesome, yeah. That's good that you got here then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what, I will never be as good as this bike. Yeah. <laughs> so. well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of praise for an old war horse. Yeah, but you know what? It's the old war horse who directs the fucking wounded soldier all the way to safety. So. <laughs> <laughs> James, life after motocross, yeah, no. mate. Would you, did you ever think you'd be into this twin cylinder old farts adventure thing? Um, no, mate. I didn't no. Think it took, it took a, a lot of good mates a long time to talk me into to, it. To persuade yeah, you to. I resisted yep. for many years, but um, for fear of missing out, I had to do it. Yep. So I. Uh, and now. A bike and uh, now, I'm, now I'm hooked. Look at what it says on your jacket What's adventure. Say? I'm an adventurer. You're fucking. You're hooked. I'm an adventure guy. You are. Alrighty guys, I gotta say, as you can tell from my very red face, because I spent many hours at the top of Jacob's Ladder today, how awesome was day four of the Cape Town Australia Beach Day! Seven nineties! Seven ninety. Mr. Daniel Miller to come up here, who had the joy of riding the 790 Adventure R all day. Daniel, did you have a good day? <laughs> well, uh, my day was pretty bad actually. It was, I had to sit on the mountain for a bit and uh, wait for all you fucking punters to get up to the top there. But <laughs> Honestly, that bike is unbelievable. That's all I can put it down as. There's, uh, I've been on the 1290, um, you know, the start of the week here, and um, getting on the, the 790, I looked at it and thought, you know, it's, it still looks like an adventure bike. It's going to be, you know, real similar to the 1290. So once I got on it, and as soon as we took off, I felt it straight away, and it, it honestly felt like an EXC. Just how light it was and, you know, easy to throw around. Um, and then once we got into the dirt and I was actually searching for some big holes and shit to hit just to see what you know she held up like the suspension and everything like that and it just kept surprising me all day.
And look who gets to spend another day on the 790. Lucky boy, Milner. While she doesn't get out often on the rally, it's nice to see Rosie come out and play too. Looking good. Uh -oh. Looking good. Thank God I'm with you in a bit. Been having a red hot go out there, mate. Oh, mate, it's unreal. That emu track was awesome. Emu track, eh? That was unreal. Pretty good. Best track of the week. And you're on the big rig. That's it. <laughs> you're all right. Well, it's Got just about it. over. What do you have to That's say it. about that? I'll be back next year. Yeah? For sure. I've spent most of today by myself, so it's nice to latch on to those who like to open the throttle. Like Gavin McLeod, legend in enduro circles both on and off the bike. We can't lose an acro now, can we? No. Rosie won't be happy. No. Lucky eagle eye here, spotted it from a mile away. Is there two bolts in that thing? Yes, oh. well, well, I am carrying spares after all, Gavin. Just 
ring Shannon's won 300. I'm impressed with this bloody workshop that you're carrying around. Look at that. You've also got Dan Perkins, fellow West Aussie from my early days of enduro racing. Every minute, has a minute, how much time I got? These guys epitomise the spirit of adventure riding. Always ready to help, always fully equipped, and always up for a good laugh at the bar. I believe KDM are changing the game of adventure riding. It's not about overloading your bike with luggage and sightseeing your way from one coffee shop to the next. It's experiencing the true capability of long distance motorcycles and the diverse terrain they'll cover between destinations. We are riding the adventure bike evolution and it's absolutely on for young and old. Me too, but my front's flat. I got a flat too. Just rode it in last 50 k's like that. Couldn't be fucked bothering anyone because I got nothing. Well, there's nothing left to say. But what a week. I'm spent. Alrighty, and one, and finally, I know we've been saying this every day, but the route just kept getting better and better. And this man worked absolutely tirelessly on this route. He took my phone calls at any time of the day and always seemed happy. And I gotta say, we could not do this without him. And that's Nick Selleck. Thank you, Nick. says on your jacket, adventure. I'm an adventurer. You're hooked. I'm an adventure guy. Great day, great day. It's fucking awesome. I had to sit on the mountain for a bit and uh, wait for all you fucking punters to get up the top there, but... It's a 1090, you know. We'll unleash the horses of that ass.
street, baby. 